Good morning, guys. Welcome to uh, this introduction of Eat Your Way right through the holidays 2013. We had some great kickoff meetings yesterday, but I know not everybody could be there. So we're going to kind of do the Cliff Notes version this morning um, and fill you in on exactly what we're trying to accomplish and how it all works. So let's start right off with discussing for a, a second or two why we're doing this. Holiday, holiday time, you all know it's a tough time of year, right? We start with Halloween all the way through New, New Year's filled with parties from the Halloween candy to the Thanksgiving to the leftovers to the office parties to people bringing in food into the office and that type of thing. And, uh, you know, it's really, really easy to, uh, to pack on a few extra pounds when we don't even realize it. And uh, some studies have shown that people can gain six, eight pounds uh, over this holiday season and, and done year after year after year, you know, that really adds up, especially if we're not being proactive uh, all the rest of the year. So what we want to try to accomplish is getting you through the holidays unscathed or even better, maybe we can even make a little progress toward our fat loss goals during this season. So I want you to start off with a mindset that says I can do this. You know, commit to do it, and then we're just gonna we're just gonna work at it. You know, nobody's perfect, um, nobody expects perfection during the program. But if we can just get a little better every single day, that's what we're looking at. The Japanese they have a uh, term kaizen. You may have heard of it, and it just means constant and never-ending improvement. You know, you you fall one day, you're not you, you don't do what you're supposed to do, or you don't stick with a plan. You know what? Tomorrow is a new day. Let's just start tomorrow. So. What I want you to do is commit to the program. It's eight weeks long. You know, you're going to be eight weeks older in eight weeks anyway. We might as well be productive during this time of year. So really come into it with a positive mindset, and I'm excited about what you can do. First thing I want you to do is forget everything you know or you think you know about nutrition. If I want you to go on a Google diet, off diet, all right? So if you logged into Google right now, if I clicked and logged into Google, I, I can't remember how many results it is. It's tens of thousands on diet and nutrition. And the problem is, is all that information gets conflicting and what should I do, what should I do, what should I do? So what I want you to do for the next eight weeks is just commit to following this program step by step. There's some of you that have done similar programs with us, uh, we don't call it a diet. This is the way that we want you to live this is the way we want you to be able to adopt to eat uh, most of the time and uh, you know we'll talk a little bit about splurges and, and special times you know, down the road but right now I want you to think this isn't a diet this is this is something I can adopt and eat and I can eat this way and I can eat supportively and I can eat for health for the rest of my life so take one week at a time take one day at a time take one meal at a time and let's just make some progress so I'm going to show you the uh, the success card here, and this is available on the resource page, which I'll show you in a minute as well. So I'll show you the uh, the paper version first, and the Giffen New Hampshire Lean Body Success Checklist has we we outline the whole eight weeks for you right up front, so you can see what you're getting into, so you know what you're prepared to do on a week to week basis. Um, you'll notice that these are habit based. Uh, it's a habit-based checklist. We want to teach you how to eat. We don't want you to, you know, a lot of times people will say, well, just tell me exactly what to eat. And that, that can work short term, but the challenge with just being told what to eat every day and every meal and the exact amounts and all, all that is what happens when life gets in the way uh, and, and you don't know how to adapt to that situation. You know, you have all your meals planned out for a week and something happens and, you, and you, you don't take your lunch with you or you get called out to an office meeting or, uh, you, you know, you get called away on business and you don't have your own kitchen and refrigerator. Well, we need to know how to adapt during those times too. So think about these are things that I'm going to learn that will help me to adapt no matter where I am. Um, so the habits are right up here on the board, and I'm going to briefly go over, over them. We're going to expand on all these habits as the weeks go by. So this is a this challenge is progressive. So in week one, we're just focused on habit one. In week two, we're focused on one and two. 
And week three, we're focused on one, two, and three, all down, all down the line. So don't don't get too far ahead of yourself. You know, certainly if you're used to doing some of this already, don't stop. Um, but don't don't get don't get um, too too far ahead of yourself as far as that goes. Some the habits will be introduced on a weekly basis. We'll have them out to you by Wednesday of the week before. Um, so October 28th is when the challenge started. We actually had it out a little early. I think we posted habit number one on Monday of this week. So you have you know five to seven days to prepare and to make sure that that you have your questions answered and to make sure that you have the food in the house that you need uh, so you can succeed and you can be successful uh, with what you're doing. Um, Weigh-ins are highly encouraged. Um, I would insist on them, that, except for I just know some of us um, that have had challenges in the past with weighing in. Um, don't need to be doing that, but for everybody else, if you don't have a good reason, man, it's a, it's a great way to keep yourself accountable. Uh, on a week-to-week -week basis, um, you know, if you don't want to, you don't want to get halfway through this challenge, and um, and discover that you're really not making the progress that you could be. So I, I, we're going to have the scale here in the gyms um, on Mondays for you to come in and weigh. Coach Megan's going to be spearheading, keeping track of your cards um, on a weekly basis. What we want you to do is come in on Monday and weigh in, or Tuesday if that's your first day in training. Bring your card in with you so we can check out your percentage. Um, and we'll talk about how to calculate that in a few minutes. So bring that in on Mondays or get that to your coach so we can record those and keep track of what's going on. It's really accountability is really the key here, guys. You know, don't don't keep secrets. Tell people that you're doing this. Um, if you if you hide it, uh, it's it's much more easy to ignore it on a daily basis and to drop out. So really encourage you, you know. If you have a spouse, get them on board with you. You know, the more support that you have, the better. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the uh, the score sheets, um, and then we'll talk about the habit. So the score sheets basically, um, there's four things that you can put on a daily basis. So for in week one, you're just keeping track of habit one. Habit one is did I eat the number of meals today that I outlined in my plan? If I did that, then I say yes. I put an X. If I didn't do that, I say no. Um, and if I did a plan, a plan splurge, um, that's a S. It still um, doesn't count as far as being compliant with that habit, but it just lets you know. All right, I, I actually plan this splurge, and, we'll, and and a plan splurge is maybe you're going out for dinner and it's your birthday, and you know you're going to eat something that you normally wouldn't eat. Um, you just that's what the S is for. That's the plan splurge. So we're not looking for perfection here. We're looking for 90% compliance. I think you can see that on the card. So we're looking at 90% compliance and we just want to know, did you plan this out or you just winging it? So, um, and I'm going to show you the electronic scorecard here as well. Uh, this is an Excel sheet. Uh, it's available in the resource page and I'd really encourage you to use this one. This one, you don't have to uh, do any of the math. You just open it up. You come down to week one. Um, this drop down box here. So either yes, I did it, or no, I didn't do it. And it will keep the percentage uh, all through the week for you. So in week one, you're just going to have line one or habit one. If we go down to week two, we can fill both these in for that day. And we'll just go right along the line. Yeah, we'll just randomly put some numbers in here so you can see what we're doing. We're being pretty compliant this week, which is excellent. Now, when you get to week more than one week, you'll see a couple things here. You'll notice that the compliance chart goes both horizontally and vertically. So the, the horizontal will tell me how good am I doing on habit one, right? Now, we did really, really good on habit one this week. We got 100% compliance. Habit two, not, not as well, but habit two was 71% compliance. And then it also has a vertical line. So this will allow us to identify maybe some challenges we have with certain days. So if Monday I'm compliant, I'm ready to go for the, that, that day, and then by Tuesday I'm starting to fall off a little bit. If I see that trend from week to week, I know, all right, I have to up my game on those days. I need to reevaluate my plan. Maybe I need to talk to my coach and say, look, I'm struggling with Tuesdays or I'm struggling with Saturdays. Um, what do you suggest that I do? 
So don't be afraid to, to use those resources as well. Um, let's talk about the resource page. So if you go right on getfitnewhampshirebootcamp.com, right on the right on the front page is Eat Your Way Right 2013. You can click the resource page, and uh, internet's being a little bit slow today, so bear with me. Um, but this has your success checklist in paper form. You can download. You'll be able to download the Excel sheet from there. It has um, a, a meal planning chart there as well. Um, some grocery store lists. If you shop off those lists, um, you're sure to succeed with the plan because you eat those kind of foods. Those are the foods that are compliant with the plan. All right, and there we go. So a couple dates to remember. Here's your success checklist, your shopping list, your quick and easy meal planning. And also, we want you to join the Eat Your Way Right Facebook group. So if you click that link, that link, um, it'll ask you, um, you can ask for an invite and we'll invite you into that group. It's a private group. Only people that are invited and confirmed can be in it that are doing the challenge. That's really where you want to ask your questions first. Odds are if you have the question, 20 other people have it too. So don't be shy. We're all in this together. None of us are, none of us are perfect. We all have questions. Um, so uh, I really strongly encourage you to jump in on that. All right, I want to I want to wrap this up pretty soon, but I do want to go through uh, a few of these habits with you. So habit one is: Did I eat the number of meals today that I outlined in my plan? Again, you can go on into your resource page, and we outline that. But basically, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get you to plan your meals for the week. So it doesn't matter to me whether you're eating three times or five times in a day. I just want you to know that first, and that keeps us from you know, Sally Mae's brownie, brownie chart, brownie tray over there that she brought into work, right? I'm going to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's the only three times I'm going to eat today. If it's a training day, a resistance training day, I'm going to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I'm going to have my recovery. So I know, I know on my training days, I'm going to have four times a day that I eat. On my non-training days, I'm going to have three times a day that I eat. If I do that, if it's a training day and I ate four times, then I'm going to make my check mark. If I ate less times than that, if I only ate two times that day, or I dipped into Sally Mae's brownies, then I have to say no because I ate more times than I had planned to eat. So just know ahead of time. If week one you say, all right, I'm going to do three meals, and you find that that didn't work for you, then the next week you can adjust that and say, all right, I'm going to eat three meals and two snacks. As long as you stick to your plan ahead of time, you can keep, you, you get your score for that, um, that habit, all right? The rest of these here, on this webinar, I'm not gonna try to, try to go through all these, but you can read them. They will be fully explained to you, like I said, the week before. So we want you to completely understand what we're, what we're trying to do, and just not what, but also why. So, you know, this isn't just random stuff that we said, all right, let's slap this together. These principles are um, time tested and proven. Uh, we've seen clients lose hundreds of pounds of hundreds and hundreds of pounds of weight following these principles. For those of you who know my story, these are the same principles that I used to, to lose, uh, you know, nearly 100 pounds of weight um, myself. So once again, use the resources that are available to you. Don't get too cranked up. Don't think too much about it. I know you guys can do this. This is doable stuff. Is it always going to be easy? No. Sometimes we have to challenge some of our thinking. Sometimes we have to, you know, tell our tell our friends, no, I'm, I, I just, I'm not going to eat that. I choose not to. Um, you know, we talked about it last night, right? Be a weirdo. Be the one, be the one that chooses for themselves. Be the one that chooses to be healthy because you want to be healthy and don't let the people around you pressure you. They're, they're just not where you're at yet. They're just not ready to do this yet. But you can be, be a good example to them. And, uh, you know, so don't be afraid to be a little weird, weird once in a while. All right. I'm going to wrap this up now. We're almost 15 minutes and that's when I got to cut it off. But again, don't be afraid to talk to your coaches about this. Don't be afraid to, uh, to get on that uh, Facebook group. We want you to be on there as well. And uh, let's, I'm excited about this, guys. I'm excited myself about getting through, through uh, the holidays even better than I was right now. All right, guys. Have a great day. Let's make it happen.